That was a clip of Right Back In It, the new single from singer-songwriter Leela James. She's known as one of the leading ladies of soul music, and she was even named the goddaughter of soul by the legendary James Brown. And ahead of her performance at Bayou Music Center next week, Leela James is joining us in Studio B now. Leela, welcome to the show. Welcome. It's so nice Thank to you. meet you. It's nice to meet y'all, too. You have watch y'all. Y'all so cute. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <Pretty. laughs> that is so nice. That's and a compliment for coming from you, for your sure. Your background, you and D Brown were just talking about running track together. Uh -huh. Like, well, you both ran track separately, but now you've come together. Yes. You were described as Baby Etta after yes. Etta James growing up in L.A. Mm -hmm. because you had this, this deep, rich sound. Yes. At yes. what point did you realize you had such a gift? You know what? I think it was high school for me um, because I was singing throughout my entire childhood, my life. But it took me going into high school and being a part of the performing arts programs, doing showcases and talent shows where it was like, okay, people are saying there's a little something more than average with your, you know, your, your gift, if you will. So um, that's when I got, became more serious about it. And so you, you were just sharing with me, actually, before we came back from break, that track and field was mm -hmm. like your first love. Like, that that's was my what, first love. But when you got involved in music to the degree that you did, did you have any idea that the success was just waiting for you? I had no idea because I was devastated. Um, as you said, track and, love, track and field was my first love, and then I got injured, and I had to sit out for a while. And so I'm like, okay, that's the end of the world. What do I do now? And I, and, and I basically fell into singing. And I had no idea that this other world was waiting for me. And I feel like that's what everything happened for. So when they say all things for a reason, because I probably wouldn't have never pursued music had I not get injured when I was running track. See, it's so interesting to hear you say that you likely would not have pursued music because now, fast forward to 2023, 2006 was your debut album. You've released since then seven albums, mm -hmm. toured successfully across the U.S. and Europe with truly some of the biggest names in music. You even performed your classic Fall For You on Dancing With The Stars. Yes. And you starred in uh, R&B Divas LA. Ooh, I like I mean, this show. I watched that. Thank you. You have I done so many things in your career uh, including being named Goddaughter of Soul by James Brown. Yes. So do you ever take a moment to reflect on just how far your life has come? Um, no, I don't. I've been told that I should. Um, but I think it's because I'm always going. And I'm moving. I'm always moving. I'm always chasing the next whatever. Um, trying to um, outdo my last, if you will. But I do think it's important to sometimes stop and smell your flowers and just take it all in because it goes by so fast, just yeah. like this summer. <laughs> you yeah. know, everything goes by so fast. So um, I think that I'm going to, in the next, you know, few days, if you will, um, try to focus a little bit on just Wu sign before I um, really hit the pavement running again on my next tour. And I gotta ask your mom, mm -hmm. do your kids know you as the Leela James or they know you as mommy? They know me as mommy. <laughs> They're beginning to know me as Leela because to them, I'm just, um, what time are you taking me to cheer? Mm. What time, you know, I want McDonald's. I want the, you know, I'm just mommy to them. Um, and then every once in a while when they see me um, outside of the sweats and the t-shirts, they're like, oh, <laughs> is that you? That's, that's why I'm, or their friends are say something, you know, so. I love But I try that. to keep it low key when well, I'm with them. And we love that about you, that Thank you're so you. modest despite all your success. Okay, Bayou Music Center on August 4th at 8 p.m. And it must be so meaningful you, for you. You've lived in Houston now since 2005, six, mm -hmm. so almost 20 years. Yes. But you're kicking off the tour right here. Yes, because this is home. This is, I was born and raised in South Central LA, but my family is originally from here, Texas. And when I decided to relocate and move back here, my family came back too. So we, it's just like, it was coming home for us. So, um, I love it here. I love the culture. I love my people. I love my family. And what better place to start my tour than H-Town, hey, baby. And speaking of H-Town, <laughs> I'm a two-time HBCU graduate. Okay. Shout out to Texas Southern University. Yes, indeed. You have an HBCU initiative coming up as well. Yes, I do. And I hopefully you can come. Yes, <laughs> yes. Give me the invitation. Latoria, hook me up, girl. <laughs> She's going to be there. <laughs> yes, definitely. Come on out. We need to support all our HBCUs. So do what you can, if you can. Be there and tell a friend. That's very nice. Well, congrats to you. All your success. And I know 
prepping for a tour is a really big deal. So rest up and smell those roses you've planted along the way, Leela. Thank you so much. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> All right. Well, in the meantime, if you would like to hear Leela James's music live, a reminder that she will be performing in Houston at Bayou City or Bayou Music Center, rather, August 4th at 8 p.m. That's right. And for tickets and more information, you can visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. And don't go away. Houston Life will be right back. <laughs>